años. Yo soy Marvelous this morning. Siempre Marvelous. Hi, everyone. <laughs> What was that? And ellipsis. You know, when you leave something out, you indicate it with an ellipsis. I was trying to save time by not having to say, Hi, everyone. How's it going to be? That's fine. Thank you. I hope you all and your family are well, too. My family is well, except for my cousin Sputnik down there in the big aquarium in Cape Canaveral, who has a bad case of air. <laughs> <laughs> you can indicate all that with just one ellipsis. Ellipsis, right. With these lips, you can imply almost anything. Ick. I beg your pardon? Ick. You said your cousin had ick. Cryptocarion irritants, as in marine ick, or just ick for short. It's a parasitic disease that fish often get. But never mind, I'm, off. I'm sorry I even brought it up. But you didn't bring it up. You ellipsed it. <laughs> anyway, maybe we should get on with it. As I recall, we're doing Act 3 today as the story of Eunice. Lois. Timothy. Exactly. And so far, I've been born. I'm Timothy. And raised in a Christian family. Thanks, Mom. Thanks, Grandma. And today, I have an encounter with Destiny. Mom! Grandma! You'll never guess what I just heard. I was down at the market and I bumped into Deborah. I thought you said her name was Destiny. Oh. <laughs> Everyone is talking about it. Paul is coming back. He was in the next town and he's coming here to see us. Paul, who came to town the year I was born spreading the good news about Jesus, who taught you to be Christians which is how you raised me, and I've always wanted to meet him because I want to be just like him, and he's coming, he's coming! He said he would be back, but he finally is! I'm so excited. I can't wait to introduce him to little Timothy, my baby. Oh, um, Tom, I'm not a baby anymore. I'm 15 years old. I'm all grown up. I'm a man. <laughs> I've even... <laughs> I've even started to shave. <laughs> started? Land sakes, the boy's been shaving since he was three weeks old. Did buy you a new razor? What is it, son? <laughs> Suddenly you should look. You look worried about something. Well, I was just thinking. What if Paul's forgotten about our whole family? Or what when he meets me if he doesn't like me? Or what if after he takes one look at me, instead of inviting me to be an evangelist like him, what if he suggests that I become a chimney sweep or something? A chimney sweep? Well, I do have the body type for it. <laughs> Land's sake, stop worrying. You can't change the world by worrying. You change it with the word of God. Or, as your mother always says, there is only one way to happiness, and that is to see about things which are beyond the power of our will. Do I always use the word? <laughs> well, let's see that you are Epictetus. Epictetus. <laughs> That's oh. <laughs> well, it's either you or Epictetus. <laughs> That's an ellipsis. <laughs> no. <laughs> Maybe we should sing while we wait. I know. Let's sing Salt and Light. I love that song. <coughs>
Little, little, little. 